all right welcome to another class with mathematsoft uh in this class uh we'll continue with our topic partial fraction and we'll be dealing with uh improper fractions so the knowledge of improper fraction is from uh, our knowledge of ordinary number if i have 12 over 5 okay how do i know that what well, 12 over 5 is an improper fraction that's because our numerator which is 12 is greater than denominator which is 5 so whenever you have your numerator greater than your denominator such a fraction is actually improper and uh, these we can separate into two o's 2 over 5 which we can further split into 2 plus 2 over 5 in other words if you try to resolve it back it must actually give you 12 over 5 now relating this with algebra fraction rational algebra fraction if i have x raised power 3 and x raised power 2 as denominator then this is improper okay this is an improper fraction so this is what we mean so anytime you want to split your fraction into partial fractions you need to first pay attention to your denominator so you look at your denominator and then you would have to look out for what would be the highest power of the variable in this case x what will be the highest power of x at the denominator i know that if i should expand this the highest power of x i'll be having will be x raised power 2 and the highest power up here is already showing that what is actually 3 so this is an improper fraction so i already know that what this is an improper fraction okay so that's how you take note of that when you are dealing with your partial fraction and uh, the knowledge that you need to actually uh, resolve this into partial fraction is the knowledge of your long division method in the polynomial so if you have not seen our polynomial class you have to check the playlist and then you go through the division se session at least for you to have a good understanding of this but i'm going to give you a foundation uh, with an assumption that maybe you do not uh, have the uh, pre-knowledge of uh, division in polynomial so what we do in the improper fraction that's improper algebra fraction is that we are to separate this your quotient plus your remainder over divisor so this is what we do just like what i have as the example before where i said this will be 2 plus 2 over 5 you can see that this is your remainder here okay this is the divisor that is you divided by 5 and this is your quotient what you got when you divided this so exactly that's you know the way we can relate it with this now let's take an example that will give us the um something like a revision or long uh, polynomial division suppose we have 2x squared minus x plus 1 over x minus 1 okay let's use this as an example so i know that this is an improper fraction how do i know that the maximum power of x here is one and the maximum power of x here is two so if i'm going to separate this into partial fraction and then i know it's going to be my quotient plus remainder remainder over divisor so how do i get my quotient remainder i have to go through the long polynomial division that's 2x squared minus x plus 1 x minus 1 now let me show you using 12 over 5 first you recall this this is a uh, like a primary school method okay so my 12 my 5 will be here 
and then i will say that um, this is um five in two so you follow division multiplication and then subtraction five in twelve will give me two that's division 12 divided by 5 will give me 2 then 5 i'm going to get 5 in 12 twice only two times so now i've done division then multiplication 5 times 2 will give me 10 and then i will subtract and my when i subtract that i will get 2 so this 2 now is my remainder and of course this is my quotient okay Hence, we say in terms of partial fraction, this will be quotient okay, plus remainder over divisor. And that's why 12 over 5 is equal to 2, which is your quotient, plus 2, which is your uh, remainder over your divisor, which is 5. So you can see this. Exactly that's what we need to do when dealing with a... Uh, partial fraction also that's algebraic uh, fraction so what i just did here now let's now do it using all these uh, this uh, exa example let's use this example to actually what treat that so here i'm following my division multiplication and subtraction also so i have two x square you will take two x square divided by x that will give me 2x so i have 2x the next one is multiplication that's i'm multiplying this 2x into bracket x minus 1 that will give me 2x squared minus 2x and that's what you will record here 2x squared minus 2x and then you have your subtraction now when you want to subtract which is the next thing try to put this into bracket so that psychologically you'll be able to see that that subtraction sign is actually dealing with everything in the bracket and then what i have is simply like this now 2x square minus x plus 1 minus 2x square minus 2x so that's 2x square minus x plus 1 minus 2x square plus 2x so this cancel this and then you will see that what i have now is 2x minus x plus 1 which will give me x plus 1 so i have x plus 1 here okay now the next thing for you to note is that can you still divide if you can still divide then you come back towards division and then you follow it down towards subtraction again so let's try it so this now divided by what this that's x divided by x that will give me one so plus one one times x minus one again that will give me x minus one and then i subtract again and this will give me two so now writing this in form of my uh, partial fraction now will be two x square minus x plus one over x minus 1 equals my quotient now is 2x plus 1 plus my remainder is this which is 2 over my divisor which is what x minus 1 and i've been able to split this into small partial fraction so the next thing you need to observe now is that you have to still observe this because in some cases you may still be able to split this into you know uh, smaller fractions okay which are also partial fractions but in the case of this i cannot split it because my denominator is just x minus one so i can't split it into what a uh, smaller fraction is already in the smallest form of a uh, rational algebraic fraction so this remains my final answer so i just use this uh to bring your you know your memory back intact on a long division of a polynomial so let's now use that knowledge to solve our example let me copy out this example okay let me copy out this example so that we can now solve now all 
okay so we have all right so we are to deal with this and uh, we are to split it into partial fraction now the first thing you will observe here is that like i said your denominator if you expand it you can see that the maximum power of x there will be two so and the maximum power of x at the numerator is actually 30 so this is an improper fraction and uh, i can approach this by first expanding my denominator so x to the power 3 plus 10 x plus 4 over so let's expand this now that will be 2x square plus x and then i want to separate this into quotients okay plus remainder over divisor now and how do i do that that's by using my long division so i have 4x raised to power 3 plus 10x plus 4 then i have 2x square plus x okay so i've already given you revision on this so we can just be do this in a faster way now so we have 4x raised to power 3 divided by 2x square that will give me 2 x then just remember your division multiplication subtraction 2x times all this will give me 4x raised to power 3 plus 2x square and then i put this in bracket i put my subtraction sign so this will give me minus 2x square plus 10x plus 4 that's what we remain so i divide again minus 2x square divided by 2x square just like saying minus 2x square divided by 2x square so of course this will give me minus 1 so i have minus 1 okay that will give me minus 1 so i have minus 1 and then i will use minus 1 now to multiply this that will give me minus 2x square minus x okay and then i will have my subtraction so this will give me 11x plus 4 okay and of course looking at 11x i cannot simply divide 11x by 2x squared because this is a proper fraction this is not a proper fraction okay i can't divide this anymore because the power of x at the numerator now is now less than the power of x at the denominator so hence this becomes my remainder okay this is now my remainder this is now my quotient okay this is now my quotient so and then i can go back to my original expression which is the fraction given 4x raised to power 3 plus 10x plus 4 over let's write it the way it was given that's x bracket 2x plus 1 okay equals my quotient which is now 2x minus 1 plus my remainder 11x plus 4 over my divisor which is a uh, 2x square plus x don't forget that my divisor i'm the one that I expanded it so let me write my divisor okay the way it was given in the original fraction just like this x bracket 2x plus 1 equals 2x minus 1 plus 11x plus 4 over x bracket 2x plus 1 don't forget what I mentioned when I was actually uh, giving introduction, uh, laying foundation for this uh, particular video. So I said that when you got, get here, you have to now observe this. If you can split it into, if you can split it further into smaller, you know, partial fraction. And of course, this is another partial fraction. This is another fraction that can be taken down to partial fractions. So we have to split it more, okay, by now having 11x plus 4 over x bracket 2x plus 1 
so i can split this further okay because these are linear denominators so i can write it as a over uh, x plus b okay over 2x plus 1 so and then that will give me 11x plus 4 over x bracket 2x plus 1 and then that will be that i find the scm here 2x plus 1 and then that will be a bracket 2x plus 1 plus b x all right so now that i have the same denominators left and side right hand side so i can compare the numerator plus 4 equals a bracket 2x plus 1 okay plus b x so if i put let's eliminate now if i put x as 0 definitely this will be out so that means that that will be 11 bracket 0 plus 4 equals a bracket 2 into bracket 0 plus 1 then b bracket 0 of course this will be 0 so this will now give me 4 equals a into bracket 1 and my a will be equals to 4 now i've gotten my a as a 4 i can also use elimination to get b because if i put minus uh, half for x okay that will also give me um that will also help me to make this what zero and it will remain only b but i think uh, expanding that's another option expanding is another option and i think that will be a bit faster and uh, easier so for me i want to expand you you can also go that way by putting x as a minus a uh, one over two of course to make this uh, this to be zero but let's expand 11x plus 4 equals 2ax plus a plus bx 11x plus 4 equals 2ax collecting like times now plus bx plus a okay that would be 11x plus 4 equals 2a plus b that's x now plus a so we can compare of course you can see that our a is equals to 4 which actually what confirm this but the coefficient of x is 2a plus b which is equals to 11 so i can say 2 bracket 4 which is our a plus b now equals to 11 8 plus b equals to 11 b equals uh 11 minus uh okay 8 which is b equals 3 so that's 3 we can write that our unknown therefore a equals to uh 4 and our b is equals to 3 so now writing everything together now as the partial fraction so we can see that our the former one that we wrote let me see if i can copy this that may not copy accurately but we can make adjustments so this is our fraction okay copy so this is our fraction this is what we have okay we can easily adjust it let me clean that and paste it again okay i think it's better now so let's just put our line and then we put our line so this is what we actually have but don't forget that we have actually what splitted this now into smaller fractions so we can now just bring that in so that would be 4x raised power 3 now plus 10x plus 4 over x bracket 2x plus 1 
equals uh, we have 2x minus 1 okay now plus what is the partial fraction here okay so that we split this one in two so let's bring it in so this is the partial fraction so let's copy that uh, okay because that place may not take it so it's actually plus okay or i may just write have to write it so let's just write it a over x plus b over 2x plus 1 okay i think that's better so i can manage that space there so what we have now we have to replace the value of our a that we have gotten replace the value of our b so our a is 4 okay and our b is actually 3 and this will be you know splitting uh this into our partial fraction this will actually be what we will have finally so i hope uh, you do have a very good understanding of this uh, it is very uh, important that you pay attention to uh, this in some cases when you reach this place you just want to be in the hurry and say this is your final answer but you still have to observe if that uh, fraction that is after you have written it as a quotient plus remainder over divisor if this can still be splitted into more of a uh, partial fraction so you still need to actually do that so we have our number two now our number two is the next one that we will do in the next video thank you for staying uh, with me uh, in this class please share if you have not subscribed please subscribe to our channel see you in the next video bye for now